open to Oz. And your hand just look at the name on it and find your table with the corresponding team name. Hang on. Good morning. All right, find the table with your team name. Quick, quick. The tables are all over here. You're on the right or the left. What's your name? You're right here. How's everybody doing today? Good? Good, yeah. Sort of. Okay. Well, you'll see I just handed out your boarding pass for Oz. So if you complete it, you'll be able to move on to the next location on your trip. While you're in Oz, we've got a great day's plan for you. I'm the Tin Man. This is Miss Dorothy. And over here we have the brilliant Scarecrow. He doesn't think he has a brain, but he really does. He just doesn't know it yet. But the neat thing about Oz is we've got a theme park. We've got Magic Munchkin Land. And in that theme park there is a roller coaster. Has anyone ever ridden a roller coaster? Ooh. Where did you ride a roller coaster? Who wants to, who wants to share? Adrian. Where did you ride a roller coaster before? Uh, Bush Gardens. Was it high? Was it fast? Yeah, it had a drop that went straight down. It did? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Was it scary? Wow. Yeah. Who likes scary rides? Anybody likes scary rides? Who likes scary rides? <laughs> What's the scariest ride you've ever been on? Uh, uh, Thunder Road. Where's that? It's in, it's in Charlotte. Cool. It was really scary. Awesome. Yeah. It was a wind roller coaster, so I was afraid it was going to break. <laughs> Has anyone in here ridden a roller coaster that has a ton? Who's seen a roller coaster with a tunnel before? <laughs> right? When you rode the roller coaster, did you hold your hands up? <laughs> oh, that's scary. Yeah. Were you too scared to hold your hands up, Brandon? Mm -hmm. yeah. Why? Why were you too scared? It's going to hit the bars above my head. You're scared you're going to put your hands on the tunnel? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. I was afraid I was going to fly out if I didn't hold on to the thing. Okay. That makes sense. It happens. People fly out all the time. Right? All right. But today we've got a problem for you. And it has to do with, with a roller coaster. With a tunnel. Huh? It's called the flying monkey. Scary. And it's a real <laughs> scary ride because flying monkeys are scary. But you notice, it looks like his hands are almost going to hit, doesn't it? Can anybody tell me how tall the clearance is? That's the distance, the safe distance. Come on, somebody. Kevin, okay. guess? what do you think it is? Uh, from the picture, it looks like 150 centimeters. 150 centimeters. 150 centimeters. Good job. We need to make sure that it's safe for the 10 man to wrap because I'm afraid to get on it if I'm going to get hurt. So, how can we do that? Do you all think 150 centimeters is a lot of space or not a lot of space? Really big. Really big. Centimeters are small. Centimeters are small. Okay, so you don't think many people will be able, able to fit there then? Okay. Do you think your munchkin team would fit? No? I think we're all about a thousand centimeters. A thousand yeah. centimeters? Okay, well we'll find out. Well, what we want to do, how do we advance the uh, era? What we want to do is we want to do an activity called think, pair, and share. What we want you to do is take three minutes. The first minute, you're going to think to yourself, you're not going to talk, you're not going to share with your friends. You're going to think about how would you determine if it was safe for the 10 man to ride. And then, I want you to write down what your thoughts are. What were you thinking? And then I want you to share with your group to see how we can come up with a solution to this. So you've got three minutes, ready, set, go! Adrian, think first. What are you thinking about? I mean, yeah, I was, 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 I
So you think that's going to be a problem? I mean, it, it might be, you might like, that's mm -hmm. also an issue. Okay, yeah. we'll keep thinking about that. Go ahead and put down on your papers what you all were thinking about. This is your namesake ride. I thought maybe he might get it. Honestly, he's taller so than the ride. And then I'm sitting there and sat on the his hands and said he was going to be touched on the ceiling. He cut off because the ride is only a centimeters wide. What do you all think about that? How can we do that without actually having me get on the ride and we just measure you? And then okay. Yeah. okay, so you think the 10 man's going to be too tall to ride that ride? Yeah, according okay. to the, the two heights. Okay, so you're just comparing the height of the tunnel and the 10 man's height? Okay. About the tallest person in the world has to reach the All right, so Flying Monkey, tell us what you thought about if the Tin Man would fit or not. We said maybe he might, he might uh, fit on the ride. He, he would probably get cut off though because he's, he's more than 150 centimeters tall. What part would get cut off? What, what, his head or? But probably his heart because that's what he's missing. Oh, okay. So like a lot. Yeah. I mean, I so most of his body. Yeah. Like, okay, so that's, that's not good. Like, he's like a lot taller than the things are probably like in the chest so. Okay. That's what I, that's what I, or I don't know. Matthew, what'd you all get? So if he's going to be sitting down with his hands up, it matters distance from where he's sitting, but basically to his fingertips. And so that's, that's the measurement we're looking at. Okay, so you all thought about how they're sitting down in the ride. Do you all see that picture, flying monkeys? See that, Katie? Um, how they're sitting down in the seat? Right. right, oh, okay. So it's not actually their entire height, oh, right? Yeah, okay. So does anybody know what that distance Matthew was describing is called? From where you're sitting down to when you raise your arms straight up and measure that. Adrian, do you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, if I go like this, what am I doing? Imagine I'm, there's a top of the shelf and I'm trying to, I'm reaching, this is your reach. When you sit down in a chair and measure this distance, that's gonna be your reach on the roller coaster. Right? And so that's what actually has to be less than 150 centimeters. Okay? So if you all want to turn to the next page of your packet, now we're going to collect the data to see if all of you all could ride on the flying monkey. Brandon, you don't think you're going to be able to? Okay. All right, so you're going to work with your teams. Um, flying monkey, you are going to start the reach station, which is right behind you. And that will be with John. And then 